Good morning, folks. We've got a considerable sunspot development facing Earth. We'll go over some key science news and get another glance at yesterday's two top stories, but we're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com. We find the most dominant feature is the equatorial coronal hole, a true sign that the sun's magnetic field is stepping down through its latitude run that brings the sunspot maximum. Around the coronal hole to the south, you may have noticed the development of two active regions. The lead did have a small spot yesterday, but overnight they really exploded into proper sunspot groups, traditional spreaders, red negative leads, eyes open for polarity mixing as the sunspots continue to develop today. At this stage, they are just one sunspot morphology away from being flare makers. Meanwhile, we have watched the solar wind continue to be enhanced. The second component of the coronal hole stream is driving continued low-level geomagnetic storms, and remember there is more on the way from that equatorial coronal hole facing Earth now. I'll invite those active regions to its south to just stay in their seats for the time being. Heading to seismicity, just a few hours ago Greece was rocked by a 6.3 earthquake at shallow depth. There are videos of people evacuating buildings into the street as expected, but no word on the damage just yet. Sure that'll come in today. Meanwhile, the days of record rainfall have triggered record flooding in Kentucky. I've gone ahead and pulled both the USGS stream flow and the flood stage map so you can see how hard hit the Ohio Valley and Appalachian Range was during this event. Interesting study on the 2018 volcano eruption in the Galapagos. Evidence suggests nearby land was violently lifted to more than six feet higher than it was before, right before the eruption occurred, and in the matter of an instant. The imagination goes wild with that one. Reality goes wild next, as plasma was magnetically confined at just one degree above absolute zero. They refreshingly spell out the ways they still don't understand plasma behaviors, and I'll honestly say this is a step in the right direction to discovering them. Interesting paper up next, 1 Nova, 2 Nova, Red Nova, Blue Nova, Small Nova, Big Nova, Gap Between is OVA. I have gone beyond out of my way to highlight the small nova and those bridging the gaps between the tiny recurrent blasts and classical nova, also the gaps down to micro nova and dwarf nova. Here, we find that these categories have fake walls, fake calls, and under scrutiny, they fall. So we come to the sun with our chemistry hat, finding previous models are under attack, an attack justified unlike that on the cat in the hat, and it means the sun novas. That's that. By the way, the trigger for the solar micro nova is what we saw yesterday scaling up to the galactic scales, delivering two different nova triggers in one. See the disaster playlist on our channel page to learn more, but right now we're taking a quick look next at how science gets pulled and twisted in specific directions by far fewer people than most of us imagine. This is how a small group of people control entire paradigms of science and why it is so difficult to challenge when their best friends, mentors, and former students are the gatekeepers at the journals themselves. Folks, it was almost serendipitous that we had gone over the importance of the oceans and the confirmation we had just last week on the solar control over those ocean temperatures. Website members, this deeper look broke down the chain and importance and the fact that one of the most ridiculous bombshells I've ever seen in climate modeling dropped just the next day. It's on the same topic and it explains why they are missing so much solar input into the climate in even just the irradiant side. Yesterday, I told you my head exploded when I saw this. We are still picking up the pieces of the climate paradigm from all over my living room. We greatly appreciate your support. Folks, a fun little mistake on Observer Ranch, that lake I guesstimated from satellite views, is actually 50% bigger than I initially thought. If you haven't seen our new project, ObserverRanch.com, Get involved at various levels and help us make it happen. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.